being alone for the holidays can be really tough. In fact, if it's the first holiday that you've had whenever you've gone through a divorce or separation, it's gonna be the toughest. In this video, I'm gonna show you four ways that you can move forward so you're not living in misery, you get out of the pain cave, and you can actually enjoy your holidays and look forward to what's coming up next. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Look, man, I get it. Being alone in the holidays can be absolutely horrible. You don't hear the kids playing anymore. In the divorce degree, you might get them for one holiday, right? You might get them for Thanksgiving or Christmas and maybe alternate next year. Or maybe your wife just doesn't let you see them at all. And so you have this place, it's like this empty home and this empty feeling in your heart and they all coincide with each other. Well, it doesn't have to be this way. In fact, we can rewrite your history. We can make sure that what you do and what you create moving forward can actually open up the space to have more love in your life, more fulfillment in your life, in the sense of never being lonely again. And it starts by not isolating. Most guys, when they go through the situation of a divorce or a separation, they isolate. They're like, nobody wants to hear my pain, and they bury this pain. They bury it all within like this small box in the back of their mind, underneath the staircase, never to be looked at again and pretend that it doesn't even exist. And so the thing is, is that guys will do this. They'll isolate themselves. They won't talk to anybody about it. They won't want to look weak. They won't want to cry. So we have to get you to a place where you can connect with other people, even if it's just in small ways. In other words, start reaching out to a friend. Start calling friends on a regular basis. Now these conversations better not be marked by you complaining and being sad about everything. Obviously you need to work on this stuff internally. This is why we made the Genuine Attraction community because so many guys are stuck in this place. They're stuck in this place where they have nobody to talk to. They can't talk to their wife. They can't talk to their kids, obviously. Most of their friends, if guys have any at this point, if your wife's been cheating on you, lying to you, manipulating you, most likely you've lost your friends because your entire life has been wrapped up in trying to make this woman feel better, make this woman happy. And then you find out that she's taken everything, you have nothing left. And so guys don't even have friends. And going out to her, you can't reach out to her family. They're all on her side in any ways that did they even like you at all. And then you reach out to your family, what are they gonna do? Yeah, I'm sorry that happened. If you need anything, just let me know. And it's like, cool, but they don't really understand what that's like to be completely isolated and have everything ripped away from you. And so we made this community a genuine attraction for guys like you. Guys who just need somebody to, to talk to, somebody who can understand like intrinsically because they lived it. If you wanna learn more about the community, if you need somebody to talk to, you need some other guys on your side to help you move forward, click the link in the description below. All the way up until December 2nd, I am offering you the audiobook of Betrayed to Badass for just a dollar. Because that book is powerful and you need to have it in your hands. Because if you're going through a betrayal situation, you're dealing with lies or manipulation or a wife that just walks away and you can't really understand what's happening and that everything you do is like, it's like she's sand slipping through your fingers. This will turn it around within a couple of weeks. You'll also have the opportunity to join the Genuine Attraction community and you can experience that free for seven days. This community is powerful. There's coaching from me, there's master classes, there's shorts, there's all kinds of things to help boost you forward on a daily basis so that you're not sitting here alone in your pain coming home to an empty house that is echoey because she took all the furniture and you need to have guys around you that have gone through the trenches, they know the game. Why? Because you deserve to win. See, men need to win and they need to win often. And right now, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've been losing a lot. So let's get your first win and get you into this community. Let's get you to that audiobook for just a dollar. And so by connecting to other people, it brings the life back into your life. Either you can do it to the genuine attraction community or you find some people that you can connect to on a daily basis. Whereas before you're connecting only with your kids and your wife, now you're gonna connect with other people. And most guys don't have any kind of social network outside of what was going on in their family. They don't have an emotional support network. And this is where women differ from men greatly. And women usually keep an emotional support network around them no matter what the case may be. And you may find that when your wife is leaving you, she was buttoning these people up all the, all the time or all the while that you had no idea what was going on behind your back. And she has these new friends, these new communities, new coworkers, and all these new people that she's hanging out with. That's because she was shoring up her emotional support network while you were sitting here cratering and wondering what to do and trying to save the relationship. And so you have to also create this kind of emotional support network and it doesn't have to be huge. Just reach out to somebody you haven't reached out for, to for a long time. Your old high school buddies, old college friends, friends and family that you haven't reached out to in a long time, just give them a call, see how they're doing. You'd be surprised at how much that little bit of interaction will boost your spirits and give you the energy to move forward powerfully. You know, time doesn't heal. It just helps you forget. And so the second thing that you can do is replace those memories with memories that you like, things that you enjoy. 
And so what I used to do is if I would have something that I would notice like around town, like a memory or a smell or something like this, and it would put me back in that pain cave, reminding me of what happened in the relationship and my failings as a husband or a father, or the fact that she was doing all this stuff against me, what I would do then is I would replace that memory with something that I thought was amazing. So what I would do is if I was dating a woman that I really liked, I'd take her to that place. Why? Because I'm rewriting that memory. Now that memory is now associated with her, not the fight that I had with my ex-wife three years ago. And so this is the kind of thing you want to do all around your house as well. Go in your house. Start replacing these memories with memories that give you power, that serve you, that get you looking forward to a future. And if you don't have memories, then start putting objects and things around your house that point towards what you're going to go do and what you're going to achieve moving forward. The more that you do this, the more you embody doing these practices, you're gonna start building everything around you. Your entire environment will start being built around purpose, power, and conviction of what you want to create and who you want to become. You can even make holiday rituals surrounding these things. I know for me and some other people, the birthday is a key indicator of, hey, let's celebrate my success for this year, and what can I do to move powerfully next year? It's not this, hey, I'm celebrating myself because I happen to be alive. Like that's not the, anything to celebrate. Everybody has that. It's better to take it as make it and make it something intentional for you. And so we want to do this with all the holidays. Make the holidays intentional, right? Thanksgiving, what are you actually grateful for? Don't just have dinner around the table and lament about all the things you don't have. That's not being grateful. What are you actually grateful for? What can we do to move forward? At Christmas time, how can I give more? How can I become a better human? How can I bring more joy, peace, and happiness in the world and become a magnanimous man that moves forward powerfully in spite of the falling shit show that's falling down around me? This is what it means for you to take control of your situation and your mental attitude moment by moment. And three, give yourself some grace. You know, it's hard. It's hard going through a situation like this where everything is ripped apart, rugs pulled out from under, you find out your wife's having an affair. But at the same time, you didn't do everything wrong. And guys will sit in this place where they'll just lament and beat themselves up with guilt and shame and blame themselves for everything. And their wife will oftentimes pile on that and say, well, the reason a relationship fell apart is all because of you. I cheated on you because of what you did. My cheating is your fault. And guys will internalize this and they'll look at themselves and say, yeah, I guess I did deserve to be cheated on. I guess it was my fault. I couldn't meet her needs. And it's absolutely fucking false. She's a grown ass woman and she knew what she was doing. She could have made a different choice at any point in time and she chose not to. And so you gotta look at yourself and say, hey, look, had I known then what I know now, I probably would have done something different, but I didn't know that. And so you have to absolve yourself of the guilt and shame of what was going on, because you probably did the best you could at the time knowing what you knew. You thought it wasn't that bad and you had more time. And these are two common mistakes that all humans have for everything that they're supposed to be doing, which is, it's not that bad and I got more time. But now that you see that you don't have more time and it was that bad, you would have done something different. The guy looking at this camera right now would not have done the things that he did back there. That guy's already died. He's gone. So there's no point in beating yourself up over it anymore because that guy doesn't exist. You've already changed. You've already shifted. You've already made a small transformation in your life. And so give yourself some grace. Give yourself some compassion. Know that you are doing the best you can with what you got. And if you want to do better, you seek outside help. Like for me and the guys, the genuine attraction. So if you want to do better, if you want to go faster, if you want to really kick ass, then join the Broken to Badass course. The link is in the description below. Join thousands of men who've gone through situations exactly like yours. I can't tell you how many guys have said, yeah, I opened the door and it was like an echo. I could hear an echo because all the furniture was gone. Or the guys that just, his wife packed up in the middle of the night and left with the kids. Or the guy who comes home from work and he comes home to an empty house. Like, dude, I get it. And so you don't have to be alone. That's what this community is for. That's why we exist. That's why I'm in here in this video, to help you, to make sure that you can move forward powerfully in your life. But it starts with your own self-compassion. It starts with giving yourself the benefit of the doubt. It starts with diving into your own indomitable spirit and saying, I will not lose. I will move forward no matter what it takes. That's the difference between somebody who just falls apart and is a victim of life and the guy who is actually a, soul, a total savage in his life and taps into his indomitable spirit and will make it happen no matter what. You got a little more time on your hands, so don't waste it. Don't be watching a lot of TV. Don't be drinking a lot. Don't be doing all these things where you're just sedating and waiting for time to pass, waddling your misery. Use this time for personal growth. Use this time to move you forward. You are in a unique experience right now that your pain is so acute, you could leverage it to make any kind of transformation that you need to in your life. If you waste this time, you will not make the pivot. You will not make the transformation. I see this happen all the time. Guys will sit there and they'll sedate, 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 
hoping that time will help them heal. And it doesn't, it just helps them forget. And so they end up sedating all the way for about six months to a year. And the pain is still there. It's just buried deep inside. But they feel better because they've forgotten. And then they don't make a pivot. They didn't leverage this, this experience to move forward in a powerful way, to be actually different, to actually transform. All they did was change their external situation, but internally they're exactly the same. It's like Oprah Winfrey. One year she's fat, one year she's skinny, and she keeps doing this back and forth. There's no actual change there. Or you look at somebody like Jillian Michaels from The Biggest Loser, she was never that way. At least you never saw her that way, unless there's something that come out before her. She's transformed. She's not going to go back to that. And so it's the same for you. You have to leverage this pain to drive you forward so that you never encounter this again. You move forward quickly and powerfully. And I can help you do this as well. Of course, the Broken to Badass program will get you there out of your pain in just two weeks. In a couple of months, you'll be on fire and firing on all cylinders. This is on average of guys that we've seen come through the program. We've had 3,500, 4,000 guys come through there by now. But as long as you're diving in properly, you'll heal quickly. You'll get past this pain. And it won't be this game of time helps you forget. No, you'll actually heal it now. I do not subscribe to this thing where we have these traumas that sit with us for years and decades and we work on them forever and they never get out of your system. No. With the right kind of coaching, the right kind of help, the right kind of practices, you can nail down most things in just a couple of weeks. If you're very conscious of yourself and you put the time and energy into it. And it does not happen by sitting around talking about your problems to a therapist. Now the therapist can be helpful. They are trained to help you. But at the same time, it's a different game than coaching. A coach is not going to sit there and just listen to the victim pity party. The coach is going to say, okay, that's cool, that's great. All you're doing is being a victim and you're giving all your power away. What can we do right now? What commitment can I get from you to make sure that you move forward right now so we can make this pivot? Because I know you don't really want to be here in this pity party. And you being in this pity party doesn't actually change anything. All it does is wallowing in misery while you sit here and do nothing. And then time passes you by and then you have this opportunity cost. Opportunity cost of you could have been there already. And so if you're watching this video and you're on the fence about moving forward, realize there's an opportunity cost. Every day that you don't do something is a day that you wallow in that misery. And if you're in this place where I'm afraid that my wife's going to leave, leave me because I'm in a separation, realize that time is nails in a coffin. You don't have the luxury of time. You don't. And if you keep trying to pull on her and pull on her and pull on her and try to get her to get a commitment to be with you and to try to make it work better, just realize you're just pushing her away even further. So set up a call with my team. Click the link in the description below. Join the community. Just do something. Do something. Watch more YouTube videos on how to get more powerful. It doesn't matter to me. As long as you do something to make a commitment to get out of that victim state and to move forward powerfully, I'm happy. That's all I care about. I want you to move forward powerfully. I want you to come out of this becoming a different kind of guy, a transformation, a guy who has mastered his transformation, a guy that his kids can look up to, a guy that actually turned into a different kind of guy and so that his kids will also be different. Because kids don't do what you say. They do what you do. And so you not transforming means your kids are going to do exactly the same thing as you did. How do I know? Well, I was one of those kids. And I went through that pain. And because I went through that pain, this whole thing, this video and everything else is, was born from that. I was built for this. So brother, I hope you enjoyed this video. You don't have to sit in this pain and misery and you can move forward powerfully. And I want you to go do that right now.